G'day, g'day. Today, what we've got here is uh, my old Akai samplers from the 90s. And what I want to demonstrate today is basically <clears throat> how do you transfer over programs and samples from old storage media, zip drives and zip disks using SCSI cables. Okay, there's my SCSI there. Um, I love Akai samplers from the 90s. I just love the look of them. Love how solid they are. Exceptional sound. I just like the OS. Very easily get around. Um, on display today, we've got the 3200XL, which came out in 1996. One below it, <clears throat> which we won't be talking about today, is the CD3000i, which is pretty handy. Came out in 93. It's got its own effects. I really like the flange flanging effects on drums and some delays and what's really handy about this model is that um, it's got a CD-ROM drive in it which is great if you've got a lot of the older uh, CD-ROMs hanging around okay so what I want to demo now is basically how do you get your sounds and your samples onto your sampler with out actually sampling from the inputs well if you want to save those as well now <clears throat> what I've got today is uh, two two zip drives so the one here is connected to SCSI on the back of the sampler okay and the one next to it this one here is connected up to my PC which is just sitting down there okay <clears throat> So basically what I'm going to do is just describe briefly what I've got in my sampler at the moment. Let's try and get this thing focused. Okay, let's just go to, where are we here? Uh, load, actually I'll go to save. Now, <clears throat> what's really important um, when you've got your uh, zips in there <clears throat> uh, and you go to format, which is here, just press format there you're given two options and that is whether to format or arrange now always go to arrange button so press arrange I won't do it now because I don't want to uh, arrange my already arranged formatted zip now what that actually does <clears throat> is to just set up partitions um, on your zip drive so you can have any amount of partitions not exceeding 60 megabytes um, I've set up a number of partitions on my um, disk drive at the moment. Uh, let's just see. So I just want to show you. I'll just go to load and show you what I've done here. It's a little bit tricky with holding this thing. But <clears throat> what I did was to set up uh, five different partitions. And what you can do also within those partitions is basically set up. So there's uh, A. Okay. Just, there's B. Not currently um, active at the moment. C, blah, blah, blah. They're all 20 megabytes. There's A. And I've got a series of uh, volumes within the partitions as well. Okay, so I've got three at the moment. There's my keys. The bass slips over to all my programs. And my drums in there. Okay. So <clears throat> I just wanted today, I just want to briefly show you what to do. So I'm just going to eject... From the old, there's my uh, zip disk there. I'm going to put it on the computer now. So let's go to computer. Now I've got, oh gee, here we go. Get my computer to wake up. Now this is actually um, Windows XP. I've got it on a partition of Windows 10 as well, which I find is really handy for doing this old, old sort of stuff. Now I've got it, the um, old chicken, sh uh, chicken, sh chicken systems uh, translator here. Um, now I'm just going to refresh this, and we should be able to see. Let's refocus this down again. Up the top there, we've got the iOmega Zip 100, and above that, in my CD drive, I've got um, a CD-ROM in there. So I'm basically going to transfer over a couple of, or a program from CD-ROM directly to the uh, zip drive. So let's just open up this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five partitions. I've only got one operating at the moment. There we go. That was exactly the same that was 
exactly the same that was in on my sampler so all I'm going to do is open up Pioneer so it's spinning around there's all the partitions there uh, let's open up partition C got all the various different types of let's whack in ah, let's put in a cello what the heck Okay, this is how easy it is. So let's just grab the cello program, just like that. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Uh, actually, I haven't made a partition for uh, strings, but I'll just let's put it in keys for the moment. Okay, so I'll just whack it in there. And there we go, it's doing the translation. It's writing it. I think this is a. It's pretty big. Uh, no, it's pretty done pretty quickly. Okay, um, that's all done. Let's just open it up and see if it's in there. And there we go. There are my previous programs in there: organ, my Vox Continental, my Whirly. I love Vox Continental. Uh, there's my cello. So all we got to do is basically flip it out from the uh, computer. There we go. Jesus! It almost flipped off the floor. Whack it back in here. And sampler. It's all pretty painless. Let's try and get away from the shadow here. Okay, so let's go to the old load. Okay, I want to flip over the keys because that's why I had my. Uh, and there we go. Chamberlain cello. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just go go. And it's loading it all up. It's actually uh, fairly, uh, well, it's a lot faster than um, floppies. So there we go, it's all loading up my samples. I think they're pretty long cello samples. Let's see how long it takes. <clears throat> it's a lot faster than having uh, floppies in this size. You can have 100 megabytes. And you can also save all these uh, samples onto a virtual drive on the computer as well. Oh, so after all that, that's uh, all done. So that should be in on the computer. So, I mean, sorry, the sampler. Let's go to my programs. I've just set up single programs at the moment here. And let's have a look. Uh, yep, there it is, way down the bottom there. The Chamberlain Cello. Yep, no problems. Uh, let's just go to renumber so we can use it. So I've got it just on one at the moment. It was on one. Uh, set that. Exit, let's go to MIDI, and let's just assign MIDI channel for that one. Okay, maybe we'll put it on seven. Just swap this one around to six. Okie dokie. Now, uh, if we put this on. Cello. I should also mention that you can also add a on here as standard so if I go back to my programs and just go to mix and let me see where are we where's me old cello just in there let's make it pretty obvious just whack some reverb quite like the fix on here it's pretty exaggerated Thanks for watching. Hope this was um, beneficial to some people on usage of the old zip drives, um, transferring sound. So I'll try and do some more videos shortly, maybe on SCSI cards and so forth. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.